Today, boys, we're gonna create the most unexpected German colony. Central Amerikanisches Reich. Well, it definitely sounds pretty scary. But that won't stop me from creating this such an amazing German state. A new German colony in Central America. Costa Rica, a Central American success story. Well, if you aren't the worst banana state in the region, that means that you are successful. Another sunny day in Costa Rica. Yeah, their beaches are definitely amazing. One of the best places in Central America to have a vacation. But man, San Jose. It doesn't sound German at all. We should definitely rename our capital. Liberia? Hmm. Let it be Dresden. The 1936 elections. Viva Calderon. So, social conservatives won the elections? Well, not for a while. And guess what? Calderon announces his ambitions. He can do this. And what do we see here? Right, we see this socialist victory. And at the same time, let's boost the influence of the ZKG, Central Amerikanisches Coffee Gesellschaft. German coffee companies must rule Central America, like American bananas rules Honduras. Disaster in ZKG. Well, mm, they've got a lot of problems. In the aftermath of the American Depression, the largest coffee barons of our nation bound together and joined forces in the German headed ZKG or Central Amerikanisches Coffee Gesellschaft. Those Germans had it coming anyway. ZKG bankruptcy is a national catastrophe. So we need to do everything to stabilize the situation in Costa Rica and make Costa Rica and German coffee barons great again. So the permanent solution of the ZKG? Oh man, that's too obvious that we shall ask the Germans for assistance. Well, it's a German company and it's in German interests to help us and establish the new Kaiserreich in the new world. It was the Germans who brought down our economy, so it's only right that they are going to help us recover. This will come at a cost. However, as the hawkish investors of the empire are sure to demand further land concessions in exchange for lower tariffs and agreeable trade terms. Yes, Germans made the right choice. German support arrives. Deutschland über alles. Deutschland über alles. July 1936. Now we've got enough German influence to do everything that we want to. So, the German takeover. With the Central Amerikanisches Kaffee Gesellschaft now controlling the majority of Costa Rica's land, they were free to do as they pleased with our government. With attempts at curtailing them having failed, Costa Rica has now become the Kaiser's first New World possession. Well, in our previous campaign we built the Central Amerikanisches Kaffee Gesellschaft Reich in Central America, but today we will build a Central American Kaiser Reich. So August Wilhelm shall rule as the first Kaiser of Costa Rica. Damn, that's a based German flag. A Kaiser for the Reich. With the Costa Ricanisches Reich now established, the time has come for our Reich to have its Kaiser. To this end, Prince August Wilhelm, even unpopular with his father due to his more feminine tendencies, has been handpicked by Wilhelm II to lead our new glorious state. A position that his father hopes will keep him away from the prying eyes of the German public. Costa Ricanisches Reich. What a good name for such a glorious and sunshiny state. And I definitely like all the buffs for my great army. For my great Central American army. And you thrown for the house of Hogenzollern. The Reichsadler has taken flight over Costa Rica. Along with that we got a new military stuff. Nice. Or in German it would sound like Dustish Fantastisch. Man, we can already go and annex Nicaragua and along with that secure the Panama Canal. But there is one problem. 
It is still October 1976 and the United States are still alive. And they still haven't got elections of 1936. This campaign is going really fast. Oh yeah, and that's our daddy. Civil War in the United States, oh my god, I couldn't expect that. Wow, I'm astonished, I'm impressed. Anyway, I don't give a fuck about that, Germany will protect us, and we all know that. Yep, Germany grants us support. And we need to do something with Panama Zone. I wanna be the only owner of the Panama Canal. The Panama Canal is a single most important bit of land within the New World. To control it means control over the quickest way past the Americas. A country who controls the Panama Canal controls both the North and South Americas. Um, okay, so we sized the canal. It was made automatically. But I still wanna fight against the Panama Zone. Even their decision to give me canal won't stop me from intervening them. So, any last words? Priyatel. Oh, that was a pretty fast operation, and they understood nothing from it. So thanks to the next focus, we'll get Puerto Rico just for free. So now it's mine. Oh yeah, French Mussolini. Oh my god, just look at these buffs. The price of our new Reich. Well, it truly worth it. Yep, Nicaragua is gonna be next. And they are in a huge troubles. Nicaragua, you are gonna die because of your stupidness. And because you didn't crush Honduras in the right time. And they've got new forces at our border. Managua in three days? Sounds real. That wasn't hard at all. And my next stop is Tegucigalpa. Growing the Reich. Sounds pretty epic. Marching Honduras? Let's do it. So let's find out who is faster. Now I can say that our boys are faster for sure. Cause we have capitulated Honduras. And the same will happen with Guatemala and El Salvador. Guys, I guess that it is our best chance to grow our Reich and right now we need to conquer El Salvador. The Costa Ricanish Reich declared war on El Salvador. Well, that's gonna be an easy trip to San Salvador. And if something goes wrong, we can always call the German Empire to help us. Okay, let's be honest, I called everyone into this war and German troops are arriving, as well as Ukrainian, Moroccan, and Polish and other troops are arriving to our Costa Ricanish Reich, because I can't defeat El Salvador. I don't have enough manpower to create any forces and that's the main problem of our country. No manpower. Maybe that will help us and that will solve the problem of manpower. The pressure of Central America. With all of Central America quickly coming under our control, it appears yet another chapter on Prussian greatness is coming to close. And yet it's more than that. We are living proof that the great legacy of Prussia, both political and martial, is truly universal. We are the Prussia of Central America. A true model for all nations. The Prussia of Latin America. A new land for the German people and the Prussia ideal to both flourish. With heavy casualties and losing one division, but we made it. We have capitulated this fucking El Salvador. Let's be honest, it was hard. And my last enemy is Guatemala. Um, that isn't so hard as I expected it to be. Man, I'm just holding these positions and all the work will be done by my allies. They will conquer Guatemala. They just need a bit of time to do that. Oh yeah, they have capitulated Guatemala. Oh man, Brazil, you're so cute. They gave me a piece of land in the peace confederation. Brazil, I love you. Greetings to all my viewers from Brazil. Now everything is done. Costa Ricanish Reich has united the whole Central America. Central America under the Reich. The natural evolution of our colonial ambitions here in Latin America are wholly made possible with the aid of the ZKG, the Reich Sadler, no source, over all of Central America, from Guatemala down to Panama and even out into the Caribbean. With this new domain, the will of the Reichspact now extends deep into the new world, furthering the strengths of the world hegemon and uplifting Central America 
in the process. A land where coffee is king and August is the Kaiser. So we have ended up not only with this mess in Central America, but we also have ended up the rule of bananas in Central America. Now Central America is ruled by the coffee companies, by the Z. K G. Am I proud of the very new colony of the German Empire in the Western Hemisphere? Yes, that is the very best version of the Kaiserreich. But in Central America, damn, San Jose, we need to rename it.